Hi to all, welcome to Hans Care Academy. Today in this tutorial we will be learning about uh, making an assembly of linkages and then we will be animating this linkage assembly. Okay. Now uh, we already have these parts modeled so we don't need to model it again. If you need these parts you can uh, leave, leave uh, a requisition in the comments below. Okay. First we will open our first part. No, we got our first part here. Now, in order to make assembly, we'll go to the file, make assembly from the part. Click, we'll click OK. After clicking OK, mm, we'll get. We click on this part first. Don't worry about this assembly too. It's already been made by me, so don't worry about this one. Okay, focus on this one. Uh, we click on part first, and we click on the screen. Okay, uh, it's imported. We got our first uh, file imported. Now, please remember in mind that this file will serve as a reference. Uh, remember, the first part you you enter into an assembly is uh, for a reference because that part would not take any part in the motion analysis. It will be a static part. So remember, if you are going to do any animation, the first part the first part would be static. That would not take part in any motion. If you would import a, ba a base component first component basically which will be taking part in the animation so you will, you will not get these animations okay uh, you get an error so keep in mind import that file first it's not taking part in the animation i hope you remember it okay now uh, we'll go to insert components we'll browse for the second file okay we we'll browse the second file now again go to insert components sorry insert component uh, browse but I guess yeah part 3 we got the part 3 here insert components browse part 4 yeah part 4 5 6 7 okay so we will click on part 4 okay we got the part 4 now we go to insert components again uh, we will get part 5 here. Okay, we got the part 5 here. Insert components again. So, one by one, we will be inserting these uh, components. I don't have to repeat it again and again. Sorry, we already got this part 5. Part 6. And for the part 6, we will get this one. Again, in insert components. Part. Sorry. We we'll go to part seven. Okay. Okay, dear. Uh, we we got we got all these files here. Now uh, we will move towards the assembly of this linkage. These, these linkages, basically. Uh, okay. Uh, now to start with the assembly, we we'll go to the mate. We we'll go go on a default mate. <coughs> we'll be using uh, the standard mates. We we'll click on this cylinder and click again the, on this internal cylinder internal. Uh, we'll get a concentric mate. We'll click OK. Now, after uh, getting this concentric, we can see that this part is not fully constrained. You can look at it. Now, in order to constrain it fully, because we want only its rotation, not its up and down motion. So, we will click on this surface and we'll click here. We will uh, have a coincident mate. You know, uh, look. After having a coincident mate, we can see the part is constrained. We cannot move up and down. We can only rotate. Uh, the rotation is not visible because it's a symmetrical part, and uh, you cannot notice this. Okay. Now we will move toward other parts. Uh, let's get this one first. We will click on this cylinder inside. I want to mate it here. Click on this one. Okay. You can again see uh, we got this mate. And it can move up and down. It's not fully constrained. Uh, it's also not uh, like in the correct position. We'll first make it correct by going to again to the mate. Uh, click on the concentric respective mate. We will go to the edit feature. Uh, after clicking the FU edit feature, we can click the flip mate alignment. After clicking the flip mate alignment, uh, we can get the correct position. But still, you know, still we can see it's not fully constrained. Okay, we want it constrained. Mm, uh, we want only its radial motion, not 
it's up and down motion okay so we'll again go to the mate we'll click on this surface and then click here now uh, a coincident mate okay click okay and this mate now we got some two parts connected okay mm. It's, which is also constrained uh, in a vertical, vertical direct direction and it can, it can only move radially. And now we got some other mates to do. We'll go with this part, we'll go to mate, we'll choose this cylinder, and then click on inside here. By clicking inside, we can see uh, its orientation now, but still, it's not fully constrained uh, according to our requirement. Because we, we, are, we are not going to make it static by fully constraining it, but still we we have to apply some other constraints. Uh, now we will go to the coincident. Click here on this reference circle, semicircle. Sorry, we'll go to the uh, previous view. Now, sorry again. Yeah, sure. We click here now. Okay, it's it's done now. Now you can see this component is constrained okay and we it can only move radially got it okay now we will go uh, to some other components like this one we can look at this one click on this surface now uh, click inside here okay uh, now in order to constrain it a little bit more we click on this surface sorry delete this click on this surface click on this uh, I'm sorry, you click, you click on this in order to constrain it here, else it will move, it can only rotate on this, okay. Now we got some of the mates, we will move further, this one, click here on this cylinder, now click here, okay, mm, we will go to view, because we are already defined some distances uh, which will help us making the assembly perfect so we already defined this uh, plane previously now we'll be using this plane uh, for our uh, constrainment constraints click here uh, we'll flip this alignment we click ok ok uh, you can ignore that error so guys you are almost done the final part remains after that we will be doing its animation okay let's make this one click on the inside now now at this point we can uh, we can do a, a mechanical mate we will go to mechanical mates we will go to hinges now if you apply hinge it requires some faces so we will select this one the concentric face and now the coincident section we will make this coincident with this face coincident right. so we got this mate okay now you can see it can move like this and also rotate it can move up and down good okay now we will move further with this mate we will again go to uh, the hinge mate uh, this one if I click on this one now move this one now the coincident surfaces we click on this one and our upper surface sorry got it wrong still click on this okay done now so guys uh, our assembly so far is done and we are good to go mm, let's just see it Review a little bit what's going on, okay? Okay, I got it here. So, guys, we we got this assembly, but look, it's it's not going to be animated like this, okay? Uh, we will apply some motion analysis, and then it will have some accuracy, and it will it will uh, rotate, it will uh, animate accordingly. Uh, okay, guys, let's move further. Okay, we will go to the motion study now. Clicking the motion steady. We adjust this window a little bit. Now uh, we will 
first uh, apply motor here I click in this motor icon and we will click on this shaft so guys we, we have two kinds of motor that one is a rotary motor other is a linear motor so we will as this is a bar we will apply a linear motor actuator okay now as we move downwards uh, it, it, it requires uh, some some other properties like constant speed we can change this we can switch to oscillating and we'll change this distance to about 20 millimeter I guess yeah 20 millimeter so it means that about 20 millimeter it will oscillate okay and the frequency is 1 hertz okay now you can see when this icon appears here uh, it means that we have applied the motor okay now in order to get a fully functional assembly um, in motion uh, animation we first switch must switch this to motion analysis okay? because if you're not in the motion analysis it will not fully uh, simulate this okay so we must switch to motion analysis now as you applied the motor and we have applied uh, the motion analysis now we will uh, click on this button which says calculate the steady we click on this one now we see if if the motion is possible it will give us a motion required motion if it's not possible it will give us errors okay let's see if, uh, if motion is possible now guys you can see that uh, it's it's uh, it's giving a fair motion and uh, i guess we got this animation done now uh, what's the purpose of this animation uh, it's a general animation and uh, we can uh, apply this to any of our real time problem like moving and closing of a wall a butterfly a fly wall anything etc so we can be used in many ways okay uh, now guys uh, here's another thing uh, which I want to discuss it's the orientation and camera views now guys not to make an animation uh, we must have a camera which is moving so uh, you can see that sorry you can see uh, that sorry a second now you can play this animation back Okay, you can go to your camera. Now uh, we, we have disabled the view key, key, view key creation. Okay. Now, guys, if we enable it, like uh, click on it, so we, it will be enabled. When it when we enable it, we can move the camera around and we can make view keys, which will basically move the camera around. Like okay, if if now we are in this certain position, we will go and we enable it. Now if, when we enable it. If we move this assembly in any in any way, it will make animation of that motion. Okay, so look at it. Okay, I've I've enabled that, and now I will rotate this. Guys, look. Okay, now as I, I as I move this thing, uh, we got this red, black dark line. Okay, which which generally tells us that uh, a moving animation has been created. A camera animation has been created now if you press the play button look it's it start it's starting moving okay. it basically notes down the initial position and the final and gives us the final rotation motion okay so in this way we can move this uh, the slide bar forward and we can create another view look guys okay it says create another view when you again press the play button okay guys another thing. in the middle the animation stopped why because we haven't calculated the steady again after moving the slide bar and the animation is only till here okay now to get the full animation we like we must recalculate the steady by clicking hit here okay it will again recalculate the steady and it will go throughout the timeline So guys, as you are, as you are look, see, looking at it, we are moving further and further, okay? Now we will again make another view by moving the slide here and giving you a closer look at the animation, like what's happening here, okay? We will again calculate the steady. Let's see.
forgetting for it. You can see that animation is happening. Now we put another view. Now based on this So guys, you will make this animation a little, a little bit more further. And uh, we can calculate the steady. So let's wait. It analyzes. And I hope that you uh, people have learned many things from this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thanks to everyone for bearing me for such a long time. So Okay guys, it's done. Now in order to save this video, you click on the save animation, okay, and press save button. Press OK. So it will be saved in your required directory. Again, thank you all for bearing me for such a long time. I hope you liked it. Please do comment and share and subscribe to my channel. That's Khan's Academy. Okay guys. Peace out.